I used to work at Golden Harvest a few years back as an inventory stalker. It was about my second month on the job when I first heard the rumors. The basement had a dark reputation. Long before there were upstairs bathrooms, employees whispered about unsettling encounters down there. People talked about hearing the distinct sound of high heels clicking on the floor when no one was around or seeing glimpses of a little girl wandering the dimly lit halls. I've always believed in ghosts, so I steered clear of the basement unless I absolutely had to go down there. Unfortunately, being a stalker meant I often had no choice. About a month after I heard the stories, I found myself needing to go down there. It was just a typical day until the upstairs bathroom was occupied, and my co-worker and I had no choice but to head to the dreaded basement. Let's go downstairs. I just need to wash my hands, I said. No way, my co-worker replied instantly. What's wrong with you? I'll wait for you. Okay, fine. Let's go. We hesitantly made our way to the basement. The staircase creaked under our feet, each step feeling heavier than the last. The hallway down there was bathed in dim, flickering light, and the shadows seemed to stretch endlessly. We finally reached the bathroom. Its light was just as dim, casting eerie shadows that made the place feel wrong. My friend waited outside as I washed my hands, the sound of the old pipes groaning. We switched places, but before the bathroom door closed, I muttered, hurry up. Yeah, I'll be quick, my friend replied, shutting the door behind him. The second that door clicked shut, the atmosphere changed. The air grew thick, almost suffocating. I was leaning against the wall, trying to stay calm. To my left was a pitch black room we called the chicken coop. The walls were more like wire fencing, not solid, and the door to the coop was wide open, just an expanse of darkness. Then I heard it, footsteps, slow, deliberate, and unmistakable. Click clack, click clack. They started near the chicken coop door and moved right past me, echoing down the hallway. The worst part? I could feel it. The pressure. The presence of something passing by. My body locked up, a cold dread seeping into my bones. The footsteps stopped, but the silence was almost worse. And then, they started again. This time deeper in the coop. They were getting closer. I could hear them approaching the doorway. But when I forced myself to look, there was nothing there. My heart was pounding so hard I could hear it in my ears. I remembered what people always say. Don't show fear. So I stared at the ground, pretending like I wasn't hearing the footsteps or feeling the presence creeping toward me. Then the sound of a chain rattling snapped me out of my thoughts. Someone or something was playing with a chain pulling it back and forth. My heart sank as I remembered. There was a chain on the chicken coop door. The sound got louder, closer. I imagined a girl standing there, just yanking the chain, watching me. I tried to ignore it, but then the rattling stopped. For a moment, there was only silence. That's when the chain rattled again, but this time it was right next to my ear. The sound was deafening, as if whatever was playing with that chain was inches from me. I pictured that little girl standing there beside me, pulling the chain with a sinister grin on her face. I didn't dare move. I didn't dare look. Finally, my friend opened the bathroom door, and just like that, the sound stopped. It was as if something had released its grip on me. I was still frozen unable to comprehend what had just happened. We didn't speak a word to each other as we walked back upstairs. Later, I told him what happened, and he said, yeah, I heard it too, outside the bathroom. After that, I stayed away from the basement as much as possible. I only went back down there five more times in the next two years, each time with my heart pounding in my chest that was the scariest experience I ever had. Or so I thought. One night, I was working in the back room, crushing boxes. 
the place was packed with cardboard as usual, and as I reached down to grab a box, I saw it, a face, pale, cold, peeking at me through a gap in the boxes. I blinked, and it was gone. I don't know if I imagined it, but it felt real, too real. Other employees have their own horror stories about Golden Harvest, some even scarier than mine. Anyone else here ever experienced something in that basement? I can't be the only one. <laughs>